Lemon margarita. Yeah, baby. She is the queen of radio. Batu Loca has arrived on Paul Santisi Music Mastermind Radio. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm so sorry about that. Um, of course, as you guys know, I am stationed in Florida. Even though it's summer to me all year round, especially coming from Chicago, the weather has just been ridiculous. Like last week, we had nothing but rain, trees going everywhere, ice for hail all types of stuff so it's kind of hard to be connected with all the madness of the weather and we're in the month of july so um of course i know a lot of you guys have seen how women make good men hard to find and you guys are probably like what yes thanks to a lot of you listeners and a lot of you viewers who do follow me on social media follow me on google hangouts youtube and of course on Roku TV for the SB, SCBN network, which stands for Space Coast Broadcasting Network, where we are you out here in Florida. Um, I do get a lot of people that, you know, tag, share, or email, even send me videos or um, all about different topics they would like to hear me talk about, all pan type of panels and things. And so this was actually shown to me by a gentleman by the name of Arnez, who had sent me this link for this incredible um, article that was really well written by the, uh, by the man of Mark Groves. Um, if you check on the description box, I also provide the link and I also provided more information on how you can find out more. But he wrote this on this website called Sexy Conscientious Awake. And on it, he says how women make good men hard to find. So I figured I'm going to share this article and not only will it be able to open a dialogue between women and men, but it can also make women see how sometimes they can make it a bit challenging when it's coming to the guys when it comes into relationships. Because it's just like for us women, we see how hard it is for us to have a relationship and maintain it and maintain it more than a year. But it's like a lot of times as women, we forget how challenging it could be for a man and we're not talking just talking about any man we're not talking about a playboy we're not talking about any of those the wrong men we're talking about the good men um so here i'm about to read in p parts of mr mark groves um article where he says how women make good men hard to find um, for him, he starts off with, the other day I was speaking to a friend of mine about the realities of dating and relationships today. It only takes a glimpse into the interactions on any relationship articles or Instagram love quotes to see there are far more women reading and striving to improve their relationships than men. Then he goes on to say, this isn't just true in the realms of social media. Women are more consumers of far more articles and books regarding bettering themselves in love, whereas men are more open and, and willing to read a book on how to be a better leader, how to pick up women, or manipulate our way through life. Many of these books are reluctant to admit, ha, um, reluctant to admit, ha, have had a comfortable life on my shelf. Okay. So then he goes on to say the line between working and ho working at home and how he behaves is va is vague at best. As men, do we as men we do see that the way we behave in a romantic relationship and family system is a form of leadership and teamwork too. That the way we are at home can translate to how we show up at work and vice versa. So then he goes on to say, in addition, women are often uh, much more accurate um, of the emotional slant of relationships. Just think about the percentage of times a man says, I want to talk, <laughs> I want to talk about us or things just seem off. I was hoping we could have a chat about how we're doing. Male intimidate emotions conversations are few and far between and this is even farther supported by the mere fact that about two-thirds of divorce are set in motion by women 
if we are to sur survey most of established relationships, it would take long, be long before we would see that men can exist in a relationship that is not necessarily amazing, but not bad either. Kind of like a good enough to stay and not bad enough to leave situation. I don't mean all men, but most men and women in uh, and women are finally um leaving that when they he says wait okay 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 so he's writing this okay so basically he's saying that in a relationship guys can take it or leave it just as long as it's not too bad and um and in this he speaks about how um you know basically 